Hello and welcome, beloved community, to this, our fifth week of Lent. We hope that as as you have been joining us on this Lenten journey, you've also been enjoying our Lenten devotionals using the wisdom and the voices of so many prophets among us. And this week, as we continue to draw closer to the cross towards death and resurrection, we think about being focused on Jesus. Come, Holy Spirit, renew the face of the earth. Set your people free. Come, Holy Spirit, renew your image and us. Heal our humanity. So this week we're going to be in the Gospel of John, the 12th chapter, and beginning in the first verse. Six days before Passover, Jesus came to Bethany home of Lazarus, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. Lazarus and his sisters hosted a dinner for him, and Martha served, and Lazarus was among those who joined him at the table. Then Mary took an extraordinary amount, almost three quarters of a pound, of very expensive perfume made of pure nard. She anointed Jesus' feet with it, then wiped his feet dry with her hair. The house was filled with the aroma of the perfume. Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the one who was about to betray him, complained. This perfume was worth a year's wages. Why wasn't it sold and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He cared about the money bag and would take what was in it. Then Jesus said, leave her alone. This perfume was to be used in preparation for my burial, and this is how she used it. You will always have the poor among you, but you won't always have me. These are God's words for God's people. Thanks be to God. Give thanks for this movement to the cross towards death and eventually resurrection. And as we make that move, I love how Mary is so intently focused on Jesus. She's focused on Jesus in this way that she spends and gives generously to honor Jesus. As the text, as my text offers, this extraordinary amount of perfume is used as a gift to honor Jesus, to prepare Jesus for his burial, that she is giving generously of herself, of her resources, to honor someone who gives life in so many ways. And I think about the ways that we do or don't give generously, not just with our resources, but our financial resources, but the ways that we spend so much of our time focused on Jesus, on who Jesus was and what Jesus represented. The other part of this passage that I love uh, that focuses on her attention toward Jesus is this very intentional moment that she has when she anoints his feet and wipes his feet dry with her hair. Think about her posture and the, the body language that simply kneeling before him and anointing his feet with oil and wiping his feet dry with her hair, that that is, that is a, a physical gesture of humility of kneeling before someone and being very focused. She was so intently focused on Jesus in that moment. The time and the energy that it takes um, to be present in that space, to take care and attention to Jesus, even in the midst of hearing naysayers like Judas questioning her decisions, questioning this act of attention and focus and generous giving. 
And how often do we in our culture and in our world, we a don't take a whole lot of time to be focused on Jesus, to be focused not just on the Jesus that we read in scripture and that we hear about on Sunday mornings, but the Jesus that we see among us in our communities. The Jesus that we see sleeping on our concrete, the Jesus that we pass on the sidewalks, the Jesus that we encounter in the way in children and in the ways that uh, they are loved for and cared by. And so often we don't spend our time and energy being attentive to that. We don't take time to slow down, to look and beware and be mindful of who is indeed before us. We don't spend the time to focus on the Jesus that we read about in scripture and that the Jesus that is present in our community. And so as we continue to draw closer to the cross, I pray that we can have the kind of attention that Mary has in this passage, where we can give generously, but give generously in such a way that we spend time slowing down, seeing who is before us, so that we can really have a posture of humility and focus and attention and care. And in a world where we spend so much time trying to get the next thing, where we spend so much time racing from one place to the other, from the have it now kind of attitude, that we can slow down, where we can really be focused on who Jesus is, on who is before us as we move to the cross, as we think about the death and resurrection, as we think about how we can be focused on something so much more important.